it was in the 16th century that Nicolaus Copernicus came across a world changing discovery. He was an astronomer who came to realize that the sun was in the middle of the solar system and the planets, including the earth, orbited around it rather than the earth being in the center of the universe and everything revolving around it. Well, this was an amazing discovery, not just because it was true, and it was, and not just because it was new, and it certainly was to believe that, but also because to believe that, to come to an understanding of that, changed the way scientists and many other people viewed everything. It, it, it changed the perspective that they had on the entire universe and the way that they did science from then on. Well, there's a truth, there's a doctrine in scripture that I think can act like a, a Copernicus uh, moment or discovery for many Christians. And that's the doctrine of predestination or Calvinism, as many people will call it, or the doctrine of election, divine sovereignty in salvation. So many people come to an understanding of this through scripture and through other teachers and will admit that it's an amazing thing to believe, not just because it's true, and it certainly is, not just because we haven't believed it before un until I'm now learning it, and that's often the case, but it's an amazing thing to come across because it does, like Copernicus's discovery, change your perspective on everything. I think when, when this truth really comes into your heart and really uh, 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 settles in you the way that the Bible wants it to and the way that the Bible puts it forward, the, the doctrine of God takes on a new, amazing, glorious, weighty light. The doctrine of salvation becomes uh, uh, a lot more about God and a lot less about us. Uh, in, in fact, every doctrine is touched by this truth uh, because it's just woven all throughout Scripture and is woven all throughout the believer's life when it has come to be understood in a heartfelt way. Well, with that in mind and being convinced of the truth of it, Vic and I have compiled a list of resources here for you, some free, some that you can possibly buy, uh, some that you can listen to, some that you can read, some are books, some are articles, but there's a whole lot of resources here that I hope you will spend some time looking through if you have questions about predestination or if, if you want to learn some more or, or just check your understanding of it. If you do believe that you already have an understanding of it, uh, I pray and I know that these will be a blessing to you. Uh, so enjoy resources here on our app on the doctrine of predestination.